open search is an open source search engine that you can install and deploy as part of the peoplesoft search framework in this spotlight series we'll cover the following topics in the first topic peoplesoft search framework and open search we'll briefly discuss peoplesoft search framework and the open search search engine in the understanding clusters in open search topic we'll briefly discuss the important concept of clusters in open search PeopleSoft deployment packages or DPKs are used to deploy open search. In the understanding open search DPK topic, we'll describe how to obtain the open search kit or OSK DPK and describe some of the software components it contains. In the deploying open search topic, we'll describe the open search deployment process, the individual deployment steps, and verifying the cluster setup. The integrating open search with PeopleSoft topic takes you through the steps of configuring PeopleSoft search framework with open search using PIA or the ACM template. The managing an open search cluster topic discusses tasks that help you manage your cluster. And the final topic, additional resources, lists the resources for more information about the PeopleSoft search framework and lists the terminology used in the open search product. Let's begin with a brief introduction to the PeopleSoft search framework and the new search engine, OpenSearch. The PeopleSoft search framework is a centralized interface available within PeopleTools to configure a search engine, create search definitions and search categories, build and maintain search indexes, search content using global search and search pages, build and maintain insights dashboards. When you deploy the OpenSearch search engine, the processes of creating queries, creating search definitions and categories, deploying search definitions and categories, and viewing search results are not changed. The same search definitions and categories used in Elasticsearch can be used in OpenSearch as well. From PeopleTools 8.5.9.2.1 and 8.6.0.0.7 PeopleSoft Search Framework enables customers to use Elasticsearch or OpenSearch as their supported search engine. In PeopleTools 861 and later, PeopleSoft Search Framework will only support OpenSearch. In this video, we'll talk about how you can seamlessly migrate to OpenSearch in PeopleTools 859, 860, and 861. Next, we'll discuss clusters and their importance in OpenSearch. In this section, we will discuss the basics of clusters. We will cover more details related to clusters in the subsequent sections. A cluster is a collection of nodes. Multiple nodes running on one or more hosts, physical or virtual, can be grouped into a cluster. Different types of nodes can be present in an open search cluster. In the PeopleSoft implementation of an open search cluster, only the master data node type is supported, that is, the node can act both as a master node and as a data node. Multiple nodes in a cluster provide for redundancy and scaling. It is important to note here that the following bullet points describe the parameters of clusters that should be defined during the installation of OpenSearch. Before we discuss clusters, it is important to understand the OpenSearch.yml file. The OpenSearch.yml file is a configuration file that contains the most important settings that you need to configure a cluster. Note that the YML file uses space indentation, so you should be careful when you edit it. Cluster name must be unique. The default cluster name is OS cluster. However, you can override the default cluster name. The cluster name is important because a node can only be part of a cluster if the node is set up to join the cluster by its name. Make sure that you don't reuse the same cluster name in different environments. Otherwise, you might end up with nodes joining the wrong cluster. For example, you could use logging dev, logging stage, and logging prod for the development, staging, and production clusters. When you install OpenSearch using dpk, the script prompts for the name of the cluster. If you're installing OpenSearch manually, you need to specify the cluster name in the cluster.name parameter in the OpenSearch.yml file. Master nodes in a cluster. One node in the cluster is elected to be the master node, which is responsible for lightweight cluster-wide actions, such as creating or deleting an index, tracking which nodes are part of the cluster, 
and deciding which shards to allocate to which nodes. In a master eligible node, all nodes are by default master eligible, may be elected to become the master node by the master election process. OpenSearch decides the initial set of master nodes through the cluster.initial master nodes parameter. The value for this parameter in the opensearch.yml configuration file indicates the number of master nodes in the cluster. Oracle PeopleSoft recommends a cluster with three nodes for high availability. Then, depending on the hardware, memory availability, and search performance, you may add nodes to the existing cluster. List of host names where OpenSearch is installed. A node name is a symbolic name for identifying the node. Host name is the IP or DNS of the machine where OpenSearch is installed. Host names or IP slash DNS are required for letting each OpenSearch server be aware where it can ping and find other OpenSearch servers during booting up. When you install OpenSearch using dpk, the script prompts you to enter host names of nodes present in the cluster. If you are installing OpenSearch manually, you need to specify the host names for the discovery.seed hosts parameter in the OpenSearch.yml file. Enclose one or more host names in square brackets with the host name or IP address in double quotes. For example, for one host, you would enter host1.example.com. To list two or more hosts, use commas. host1.example.com, comma, 127.0.0.1. In PeopleSoft search framework, each of these nodes needs to be added to the search instance properties page, unless you are relying upon a load balancer, which can be used in a failover scenario by PeopleSoft so that search requests can be directed to an available node. Shards and replicas are defined on the search options page in PIA after deploy OpenSearch and connect it to the PeopleSoft application through a search instance. OpenSearch provides the ability to subdivide your index into multiple pieces called shards. When you create an index, you can simply define the number of shards that you want. Each shard is a fully functional and independent index that can be hosted on any node in the cluster. OpenSearch allows you to make one or more copies of your index shards into what are called replica shards or replicas for short. We'll discuss more on shards and replicas when we discuss the post-deployment actions with respect to a cluster. For more information, refer to the topic Working with OpenSearch Clusters in the PeopleTools 861 Search Technology Online Help. Now we'll discuss the contents of the OpenSearch DPK. The OpenSearch Kit deployment package contains scripts to automate most of the tasks needed to set up an OpenSearch environment. The OSK DPK sets up OpenSearch cluster with one or more nodes. You need to run the OSK DPK on each of the nodes to install OpenSearch and ensure that each node references the other nodes of the cluster. We have discussed these aspects in the preceding topic on OpenSearch clusters. The OSK DPK also sets up the administrator user and the proxy user. You can use the OSK DPK to switch from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch. Later in this video, we'll discuss the migration process from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch in detail. The OSK DPK includes the Oracle OpenSearch and OpenSearch dashboard software, the open source Logstash software, PeopleSoft delivered plugins for OpenSearch, these include plugins for authentication, authorization, encryption, and file web crawling, Python software and PeopleSoft develop scripts that automate OpenSearch deployment, and Oracle Java JDK 11. Now, we'll discuss the important process of deploying OpenSearch in a PeopleSoft implementation. Before you begin deploying OpenSearch, Review the hardware requirements, software requirements, and other configuration and performance recommendations for OpenSearch. You can find this information in PeopleSoft Deployment Packages Installation for Search Components, PeopleTools 861, on Oracle Help Center. Let's discuss three use cases. The first use case discusses how existing users of Elasticsearch 7.0 or 7.10 can seamlessly migrate to OpenSearch without re-indexing in people tools 859 and 860. The second use case discusses how an existing Elasticsearch user can migrate to OpenSearch without re-indexing in people tools 861. 
and the third use case discusses a fresh installation of OpenSearch. This use case is specifically for customers who are migrating from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch in People Tools 859 and 860. If you are migrating to OpenSearch in People Tools 861, refer to Use Case 2, which contains a detailed explanation. In this use case, the assumption is that you are already running Elasticsearch 7.0 or 7.10 in your PeopleSoft 9.2 application. Now you want to migrate to OpenSearch. You can install OpenSearch on a server that is different from the Elasticsearch server. However, if you are planning to run Elasticsearch and OpenSearch on the same server, you should ensure that it has sufficient storage and RAM to sustain the additional volume of data. Also, you should ensure that you use different ports for Elasticsearch and OpenSearch. You have two options to copy data when you switch to OpenSearch, that is, to use the automated process to install OpenSearch and copy the Elasticsearch data folder or manually copy the Elasticsearch data folder. In this video, we are discussing the upgrade process on a Windows environment. For upgrade process on a Linux environment, refer to the PeopleSoft deployment packages installation for search components, PeopleTools 861. On Windows, due to directory permissions, you must stop the Elasticsearch instance or service to copy the data before the upgrade process. The OSK DPK enables you to automate the process of installing OpenSearch and copying the index data in Elasticsearch to the OpenSearch data folder. To run the upgrade process, you use the OS upgrade command as shown. Answer yes to the prompt for upgrading. Answer yes to the prompt for copying data from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch. After the data copy is completed, you may proceed with the steps listed on the PeopleSoft application. On the PeopleSoft application, you should complete the steps listed here. PeopleSoft applications provide updates to support technology changes to OpenSearch and PeopleSoft Insights in the user interface. Please review the PeopleSoft Search and Insights homepage on MyOracleSupport DocID 2205540.2 to identify and take any fixes that are relevant to your PeopleSoft application. This part is common to all the use cases discussed in this video. Since you currently use Elasticsearch, you will have an Elasticsearch search instance, which is the primary search instance. At this point, it is important to remember to start the Elasticsearch service, which you had stopped. Create an OpenSearch instance and save it. Later in the video, we'll discuss about creating an instance. Next, on the search instance page, click the copy deployment data button. This action copies all the deployment related details from the primary search instance, Elasticsearch, to the new search instance, OpenSearch. These deployment details ensure that the incremental indexing from the last index time resumes in the new search instance without altering anything in the active Elasticsearch instance settings. Now you can set the OpenSearch instance as the primary search instance by changing its priority on the search instance administration page. Schedule incremental indexing to ensure that the new index is up to date. You are now live on OpenSearch. You can use your existing dashboards, but you have to deploy OpenSearch dashboards, which is covered in another spotlight, working with PeopleSoft Insights. The second option is to manually copy the data folder from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch. Run the upgrade script, which we discussed previously. Answer no to the prompt to copy data. Complete the upgrade process. You should stop the OpenSearch service before you undertake the task of deleting the data folder from the OpenSearch home directory. Then, copy the data folder from the Elasticsearch home directory to the OpenSearch home directory. Now you can start the OpenSearch service. You can now continue with the steps on the PeopleSoft application as discussed earlier in the video. In this use case, we are discussing the upgrade process to OpenSearch in PeopleTools 861 on a Windows environment. You should note that OpenSearch is the only supported search engine in 861. We assume that you are already running Elasticsearch 7.0 or 7.10 in your PeopleSoft 9.2 application and upgraded to PeopleTools 861. Now you want to upgrade to OpenSearch. You can install OpenSearch on the Elasticsearch server or on a server that is different from the Elasticsearch server. If you're planning to install OpenSearch on the Elasticsearch server, you should ensure that it has sufficient storage and RAM to sustain the additional volume of data. However, you must note that in PeopleTools 861, 
you can run only open search you cannot run elastic search on windows due to directory permissions you must stop the elastic search instance before the upgrade process the osk dpk enables you to automate the process of installing open search to run the upgrade process you use the os upgrade command as shown answer yes to the prompt for upgrading after the upgrade you may proceed with the steps listed on the peoplesoft application in order to get continuity in incremental indexing, it is essential to use the existing search instance which you used for Elasticsearch, but you must ensure that the configuration of the search instance points to the OpenSearch search engine. Ensure that the following fields have the correct and valid values. Search provider. It should be OpenSearch. Host name. Ensure that the URL points to the server where the OpenSearch search engine is running. Port. Ensure that you use the port number where the open search search engine listens for requests. Username and password. Ensure that you use the same values that you entered when running the OSKDPK. Proxy user and password. Ensure that you use the same values that you entered when running the OSKDPK. Also, ensure that other configuration fields on this page are entered correctly. Once the configuration on the search instance is fine, schedule incremental indexing to ensure that the new index is up to date. We are now live on OpenSearch. You can use your existing dashboards, but you have to deploy OpenSearch dashboards, which is covered in another spotlight, working with PeopleSoft Insights. This use case presents a scenario where you are performing a fresh install of OpenSearch. This use case assumes the following. You are using PeopleSoft 9.2 application. The PeopleSoft application must include the appropriate fixes for OpenSearch as delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image. You need to refer to PeopleSoft Search and Insights homepage on my Oracle support, doc ID 2205540.2. The PeopleSoft application is on PeopleSoft People Tools 85921 and higher, 86007 and higher, and 861 patch level. You want to use OpenSearch as the search engine for the PeopleSoft search framework. On the OpenSearch server, you need to plan. That is, you estimate the resource requirements and review settings needed for the host on which you install OpenSearch. Refer to the PeopleSoft deployment packages installation for search components, PeopleTools 861. Deploy DPK. Deploy the OpenSearch DPK and run the configuration script on a Microsoft Windows or Linux host. On the PeopleSoft environment, you need to Set up PeopleSoft Search Framework. Refer to the Administering PeopleSoft Search Framework topic in the PeopleTools 861 Search Technology Online Help for instructions on setting up the search framework. Take PeopleSoft application updates. Make sure you have at least taken the bugs related to OpenSearch for your PeopleSoft application as shown on the PeopleSoft Search and Insights homepage. Add Search Instance. Two options to create a search instance. You use the search instance properties page to create an instance. Alternatively, you can use Automated Configuration Manager, ACM, to run a template to create a search instance. Later in this video, we'll view the description of the search instance properties page. Complete other tasks. To complete the setup of search functionality, you need to perform other tasks such as deploying search definitions and categories, building indexes, and testing search functionality. On successfully completing all these tasks, you are set to go live on OpenSearch. If you want to do more reading on any of the steps, refer to the 861 Search Technology Online Help and to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages Installation for Search Components, PeopleTools 861. The high-level steps for deploying OpenSearch are as follows. Step 1. Download and extract the OpenSearch DPK. Step 2. Run the DPK setup script to deploy and set up OpenSearch. Step 3. Verify the OpenSearch deployment. Step 4. Verify the OpenSearch cluster and its nodes. Note that in this video we describe deploying OpenSearch on a Windows environment. The first step in deploying OpenSearch is to download the OpenSearch DPK. You can download the OpenSearch DPK from my Oracle support website. Note that you should download the OpenSearch DPK that is provided by PeopleSoft because it contains the necessary plugins required to work with the PeopleSoft search framework. You must then extract the OpenSearch DPK zip file. Download into an empty directory and extract the entire contents of the zip file in the same download directory where you downloaded it to. 
Note that in this video, we will refer to the OS doll folder as the location where the OpenSearch DPK is downloaded and extracted. The extraction process creates the following directories. Archives directory that includes archives for deployment. Setup directory that includes the setup scripts and a silent installation sample. OpenSearch manifest file that includes the version information about OpenSearch and JDK. And a readme text file. The next step is to run the OpenSearch DPK setup script. We have discussed the use cases in this video. Here's a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to migrate to OpenSearch and copy the data folder, which is the first use case. Run the OpenSearch DPK setup script and specify deployment options and settings. The deployment options and settings include the following. Define the PeopleSoft base directory. This is the directory where the system installs OpenSearch components. Answer yes to the prompt for upgrading. Specify the path to the current ES home. Define the administrator user and password. You can use the default name or enter a name of your choice. The administrator user has permissions to authenticate requests on OpenSearch. Define the proxy user and password. You can use the default name or enter a name of your choice. The proxy user enables the PeopleSoft system to log into the search engine using a proxy identity to run a query. Next, specify a name for the OpenSearch cluster. Note that you need to consider the description for cluster name in the earlier part of this video. Specify an OpenSearch HTTP port. Enter the host name or names for any nodes that are already part of a cluster. Note that you need to consider the description for host name in the earlier part of this video. Specify the path where OpenSearch data should reside. A default path is listed, but it is recommended to change the path to a location outside OSK home, that is base directory. Specify the path where OpenSearch logs should reside. A default path is listed, but you may specify a path if required. Define the Java heap size. The default value is 2 GB. You could define the heap size as more than 2. To understand the allocation of heap size, refer to the PeopleSoft deployment packages installation for search components, PeopleTools 861. Review the status messages as the script runs and sets up the environment for OpenSearch. Answer yes to the prompt for copying data from Elasticsearch to OpenSearch. The data copy may take time depending on the volume of data. Once the data copy is complete, follow the instructions on the PeopleSoft application that we previously covered in this video. This completes your demonstration. On your environment, you may perform checks on the file structure and environment variables to ensure that the deployment is successful, which includes OpenSearch Windows Service, data and log files, folders for OpenSearch Home and Java JDK, environment variable for Java Home. Refer to the PeopleSoft Deployment Packages Installation for Search Components, PeopleTools 861, which contains additional information that is not discussed in this video, such as additional deployment verification checks, steps to remove an OpenSearch installation on Windows, instructions on deploying OpenSearch on a Linux environment. At this moment in the video, we have installed OpenSearch, but we have not integrated OpenSearch with the PeopleSoft environment. Before we integrate, We'll use the command as shown on your screen to verify cluster and its nodes. In the command, the host refers to the OpenSearch host. You'll be prompted to enter the OpenSearch user credentials. Enter OS admin. In the response that is displayed, search for the nodes or count or total section. The information on cluster and nodes is provided in the section. After we integrate the OpenSearch search engine with the PeopleSoft environment, we can take advantage of the options provided by PeopleSoft search framework to verify a cluster and its nodes. PeopleSoft Search Framework provides a couple of ways to verify a cluster and its nodes. PeopleSoft Health Center, OpenSearch Interact page. These two options are not discussed in this video. Refer to the Working with OpenSearch Clusters topic in PeopleTools 861 Search Technology Online Help. In a multi-node cluster, you must ensure that the replica values are set correctly. Replicas are set on the Search Options page, which we will discuss later in this video. After installing OpenSearch, the next task is to integrate OpenSearch with the PeopleSoft application. To complete the integration of the OpenSearch search engine with the PeopleSoft environment, the following tasks must be performed. You must identify and apply any necessary bugs delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image PI, for your PeopleSoft application. 
you must create a search instance using either the search instance properties page or the configuration template search template in automated configuration manager acm after creating a search instance you need to specify the number of replicas on the search options page let's look at each of these tasks separately to identify and apply any necessary bugs delivered with the latest PeopleSoft update image, check the PeopleSoft Update Manager, PUM homepage on My Oracle Support, Doc ID 16418432, and locate and download the current update image PI for your PeopleSoft application. A search instance in the PeopleSoft search framework represents a single instance of the search engine. The search instances created using the PeopleSoft search framework define the instances that will be used by the PeopleSoft applications to provide search capabilities for an end user. The search instance definition specifies connectivity and other administrative settings required for running queries against the search server and for administrative tasks. In a search instance, you provide values for host name of the search provider, OpenSearch, the port value, the administrator username and password that you entered while running the OpenSearch DPK, the proxy username and password that you entered while running the OpenSearch DPK, callback URL that points to the gateway defined in integration broker, callback user's username and password. This user must have the following roles PeopleSoft user, search query administrator, and search server. Before creating the instance, verify that you have the necessary roles search administrator, search developer, search server, insights administrator, and ACM administrator, which are described in the installation documentation. There are two ways to create an open search search instance the search administration activity guide configuration activity using PIA features a search instance task. In this task, you use the search instance properties page to create the search instance. Using the automated configuration management, ACM, enables you to automate the configuration of an open search instance. You can also use automated configuration manager to automate the deploying of search definitions and categories as well as automate indexing. The first method of creating a search instance is by using the search instance properties page. This example shows the search instance properties page located in the search administration activity guide. To navigate to this page, select people tools, search framework, search admin activity guide. In the configuration activity, click the search instance task. To use automated configuration manager to create an open search instance, you use a delivered template, search template that automates the configuration process. On the search options page, when you specify a replica value in People Tools 861, the replica value is applicable to a search instance and to the security index ORCL underscore ES underscore ACL. Ensure that the replica value is set to 1 or greater than 1 so that in the event of a node failure, data loss does not happen. The maximum number of nodes that can be down without loss of data will be equal to the number of replicas. Replica count should be less than or equal to n-1, where n refers to the number of nodes in a cluster. You may set the replica value to greater than 1 if you have more nodes available. For example, if you have 4 nodes in a cluster and you want to provide high availability even if 2 nodes fail, then you need to set the replica value to 2. If the replica value for an index is greater than n-1, where n is the number of nodes in the cluster, you may find that the status of the cluster is yellow, indicating a warning that at least one replica is missing. Specify the number of replicas on the search options page. This example shows the search options page located in the search administration activity guide. To navigate to this page, select People Tools, Search Framework, Search Admin Activity Guide. In the Configuration Activity, click the Search Options task and enter a value in the Number of Replicas field. With these steps, we have completed the integration of OpenSearch with the PeopleSoft application.
Let us now discuss the open search cluster that is created and some additional tasks to maintain the cluster. With the deployment of open search, a cluster has been created. Depending on your business requirements, you may have to perform these tasks to manage the cluster. Adding a new node to the cluster, starting and stopping a cluster, removing a node from a cluster. OpenSearch manages failover through multiple nodes within a cluster, so that when one node fails, the other nodes in the cluster provide the index data when a search is initiated. Use these steps to add an additional OpenSearch node after you have completed the OpenSearch DPK installation. Note that the new node is added to the same cluster. The first step is to install OpenSearch on a separate machine using the OpenSearch DPK. During installation, provide the following. For the cluster name, specify the name of the existing OpenSearch cluster. You need to enter this value so that the new node will join the cluster. Specify the IP address of the nodes present in the existing OpenSearch cluster. Follow the instructions on entering host names as described earlier in the video. Next, complete the installation and then verify the cluster and the new node. If you are adding the new node after connecting OpenSearch server with the PeopleSoft application, then you can use the options provided by Search Framework to verify a cluster and nodes. Finally, open the OpenSearch.yml configuration file of the existing nodes in the cluster and edit the parameters. The configuration file is available in OSK home slash config folder. Discovery.seed hosts Add the host of the new node to the existing list of hosts. OpenSearch nodes will find each other via unicast. Ensure that you enter the address in the correct format, which is described in an earlier part of this video. Note that the .yml file uses space indentation, so ensure that you edit the file properly and save it. Also note that, when you add a new node to a cluster, you also need to update the search instance with the details of the new node. You need to complete this task on the search instance properties page. Refer to the People Tools 861 Search Technology Online Help. Starting a cluster would mean starting all the nodes of a cluster. Similarly, stopping a cluster would mean stopping all the nodes of a cluster. You start or stop a node by starting or stopping the open search service on each node. Before you commence to stop a node, you must ensure that no indexing requests or administration-related tasks are being made or performed on the cluster because during indexing, the cluster metadata gets updated and master nodes broadcast the metadata to all other master nodes. If you stop a node during indexing, the cluster metadata might get corrupted and the cluster could become non-operational, that is red color code. To ensure that no instances of PTSF gen feed are running, check the process monitor. Then you may stop all the nodes in a cluster and make the required modifications. After completing the modifications, you may start all the nodes of the cluster. In this video, we are discussing the starting and stopping of an open search service on a Windows environment. To start a service, open a command prompt window and change the directory to os underscore home slash bin and run these commands service.bat install service.bat start to stop and remove a service open a command prompt window and change the directory to os underscore home slash bin and run these commands service.bat stop service.bat remove before you commence the process of removing a node ensure that each index has at least one replica you can use the Open Search Interact page to verify the replica account by choosing the option highlighted on your screen from the cluster API drop-down list. Alternatively, you can use the Open Search cluster dashboard to view the replica information in PeopleSoft Health Center. Identify the IP address of the Open Search node that needs to be removed from the cluster. Open a command prompt window and execute the given command where x. X dot, x dot x stands for the IP address of the node that needs to be removed and also replace the host colon port with the IP or port of any of the nodes in the cluster. When the command is executed, OpenSearch tries to move the existing shards out of the node that will be removed and moves it to other nodes in the cluster. In a command prompt window, run the given command to ensure that the relocation is complete and to validate that the relocating underscore shards attribute shows value as zero. Alternatively, on the OpenSearch Interact page, you may use the option highlighted on your screen from the cluster API drop-down list. Shut down the node that was identified for removal. Set the exclusion rules to empty so that, in the future, the removed node can be added back to the cluster and can be used to hold the shards. 
on the search instance properties page, delete the row corresponding to the removed node. You can verify the status of the cluster by using the open search cluster dashboard. The cluster status should be either green, cluster is fully operational, or yellow. Some replicas are not assigned, but the cluster is fully functional. Refer to the monitoring open search cluster using PeopleSoft Health Center topic in the People Tools 861 Search Technology Online Help. Before we complete this session, let's take a quick look at the various sources of information available on PeopleSoft Search Framework and OpenSearch. It will be beneficial to take a look at the table containing the terminology used in OpenSearch and Search Framework. You can download the companion slides with images and notes from this video from the Oracle Learning Library. The PeopleSoft Search and Insights homepage includes installation documentation and implementation documentation for PeopleSoft Search Framework, including OpenSearch. Contains links to troubleshooting documentation to assist with the installation and implementation. On the PeopleSoft Information Portal, peoplesoftinfo.com, you can find OpenSearch Spotlight series videos and PeopleSoft Insights concept page that contain information about how to use OpenSearch dashboards in PeopleSoft.